Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna go over what happened in the month of June here in Cochrane, Alberta, and see just how the real estate market is faring compared to Calgary, which did see a bit of a slowdown in June comparatively to last year in its total sales numbers. Now in the month of June, Cochrane, Alberta did see about 131 new listings, and with about 100 sales, we saw a slight increases in the inventory levels. Now, while that should have really added to the months of supply, as you can see with the month of supply being only 1.47, we're still sitting about 44% lower inventory levels or supply levels in the month of June than Cochrane typically sees. These continued tightened inventory levels here in Cochrane, Alberta have continued to create a seller's market here, leading to further price jumps in all categories. The biggest one, just like Airdrie and some of the surrounding communities, apartment style units are seeing the biggest jump because there is just not very many of those units available here in Cochrane, Alberta, and they're obviously the most affordable option. So there is a more significant price jump in those parcels or those styles of homes than there is in the detached market. Now, with that being said, the total benchmark price in Cochrane did rise again this month, and it rose about 9% year over year coming up to about 571,000. Then we'll continue to talk about prices. The detached market here in Cochrane did also see that same 9% growth year over year, bringing that benchmark value up to about 673,000 for a standard detached house. Now in June, Cochrane did slow its growth a little bit. In the previous months, we've seen about 10%, 11% growth year over year, and now we've slid down to about 9%, falling just behind Airdrie at about 10.7%, and Calgary sitting at about 12%. Now, the big thing to note in the month of June is that Cochrane was one of two surrounding communities around Calgary, Alberta, that saw increased sales numbers over the previous year in the month of June. The other one was High River. So both Airdrie and Okotoks, and then obviously the parent city of Calgary, Alberta, all saw slower sales numbers this June than of June of 2023. Cochrane maintaining that desire of being closer to the mountains, west of the city, you know, the last stop before you hit Canmore, which is, again, pretty pricey to move to. Cochrane is continuing to see growth in sales year over year. While I think that is a benefit to those looking at Cochrane as a long-term place to live, you're going to see gain in your value of your property. It does make things a little bit challenging for the buyers currently in the market right now as sales are happening quickly and our time on the market has continued to fall and we're sitting somewhere around the 20 days on the market currently. And that does include condition time. So that 20 days may include, you know, 10 days of conditions. So homes are really, if they're priced right, selling in that, you know, seven to 10 day window here. Now with June typically being one of the busier months of the year here in Cochrane, Alberta in terms of sales, allowing people to still get those pre-school year possessions. Being that we're starting into the first week of July here, if people are wanting to take possession of a new home that they're purchasing before the next school year, we're looking at 60-day possessions or less. So things are going to start to get a little bit more competitive, especially for those people who are looking for that tight possession window, trying to get in before September 1st, making sure that their move is done before the next school year. So keep in mind in the next few weeks here that homes with that available possession date of September 1st may be under a little bit higher of a demand than those that the possession date is outside of that window. Now, in terms of some new things happening here in Cochrane, Alberta, there is show homes now being built in the South Bow Landing community, and those will go and become active here as we move more into the fall. So keep that in mind if you are looking to get into Cochrane's newest community or you're looking for maybe a potential investment where you're going to want to get into a community very, very early. South Bowl Landing show homes, again, are going to be opening up here in the next few months. Those homes are, can be visible from Highway 22. They're just north of the Willows and north of Riversong. And so that is going to be Cochrane's next large community. So keep an eye on that for developments as well. And I'll keep you posted as things come along with that community. So as I mentioned, Cochrane is still the only community around Calgary, Alberta, other than High River, which is quite a bit further south and quite a bit further away from the actual center of Calgary, Alberta, that has seen an increase in sales in the month of June over last year. So Cochrane is continuing to see those big price increases. It's continuing to see high sales activity, and it's continuing to be in a seller's market. 
And so if you are a buyer here in the Cochran Alberta market over the next couple of months with all of that growth in price and competitive market and higher sales numbers, you are going to want to make sure that you are prepared to get out, see listings when they come available, maybe act quickly. You're going to want to make sure you've spoken to a mortgage professional, have your pre-approvals in place, be ready to go. And that way there's no hangups when you find the home that speaks to you. As a seller right now, if you can offer a possession date prior to that September 1st, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I think that sets you up in a really good place because the majority of people who are looking, especially those with families, are looking to get in before that next school year. So being able to offer that style of possession would be a huge advantage to you in selling in Cochrane Alberta's market right now. Even though it is still a seller's market, it's always nice to have a little bit of an advantage over the next person selling and which hopefully gets you a couple extra dollars under sale. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about the Cochrane Alberta real estate market, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to help you answer any questions and help you plan your move or your sale here in Cochrane, Alberta. Thanks. And I will see you in the next one.